Hey everybody, it's NCP. I got my Pixie transmitter hooked up here, kind of, halfway. It's just to a little alligator clip and a ground wire. But, um, so it does transmit. It's got the, let me zoom out here. It's got the little uh, boom cube for a speaker, which I don't have on right now, but let me turn that on. He's a little USB, uh, or little uh, lithium speakers, I guess. But I can't really hear anything right now because it's not right resonant and it's just an alligator clip to a ground wire, so there's nothing really there. But I turn this off and I uh, turn my aerial radio on. I come. Let me, let me reposition this. Hold on. And if I put my finger over the internal speaker here, you can actually hear it. And it's actually transiting a little bit. So we got it on a resonant frequency. That's okay for my wife, who's a general to use. Um, I gotta do some more work on this uh, keyer here. It's still not very good. Uh, it's just a, a funnel plug with a, I don't know, a roll, uh, stop, end stop switch, or a single pole, single throw switch, I guess. But, I overheated it when I made it, melted it down a little too much. Didn't mean to, but I wanted to look neat. And for some reason it doesn't work with straight up sometimes, so, I don't know, it's fun. Twist it around there. But out in the field, we can actually use it. So, this has really been a life goal of mine, to get one of these things made up. So I'm very, very excited with that. It's just a little pixie kit. It's a $3 radio. Um, it's basically, I'm going to cannibalize this later in, in another model. Uh, the next version where I actually put it all together. I'll print a case for it and everything. But it's, it's a $3 radio. Comes in a kit form. A little piezo speaker. You can tweak the frequency a little bit. If I wanted to, I could put a capacitor on that crystal or whatever. It's a little socket so I can change out different different bands. Um, let me see if you can see this crystal here. I don't know. Oh man, I'm almost had it. Yeah, 7 point... Oh, 40 meters. 7.03. The kits come with 7.23, um, I think 7.23, which is basically a, a, a amateur extra. So that's that's fine for me, but not for her. I can't see that now to put that back in. <laughs> there we go. So it's a nice kit. It's just three dollars. It's nothing more than a toy, really. Um, but it's been one of my goals to get out in the field and do it. I'll get a big dipole antenna set up on a painter's pole. Get out there and do that. We will um, probably get a better key. Uh, my Morse code is absolutely terrible, to be honest. Um, we got we got code class tomorrow, actually. So we're both getting better at it. We're up to about 23 letters now, and a little bit a little bit of punctuation, but it's it's iffy. Um, but it's a goal, and uh, <clears throat> in a bad scenario, code or CW or Morse code or international Morse code or whatever you want to call it will cut through the intermod, the interference, intermod. Um, it just cuts through everything, and you can make code with lights. You can make codes with spark or static, and people wouldn't even know it's code. So there's that. You know, you can you can you can transmit and receive discreetly. Uh, if you have headphones on, don't only but hear it. And you can send simple code messages by putting stones in the ground. So if you want to put a number or something, you put a code there, or your your your, your dids and dots, or your dashes and dots. Um, Morse code just has a lot of potential. Um, <clears throat> kind of like when you use an old 8 inch floppy disk for something that's important. Even if someone steals your computer, they're probably, you know, just somebody looking for drugs or something and they, they um, 
they won't be able to even use the 8-inch disc anyway. And it's still encoded onto that. However, you know, they're only getting 110K, so there you go. That's not very good, but this is about, this is about CW, so. This is just one of my life goals. I just want to give you an update. Now, now, tomorrow, after class, or maybe Sunday morning, these are the current videos, by the way. They're, we're done with the, all the old uploads. Um, I'll make a field strength T meter. We'll modify a, a voltmeter to detect radio radio waves. I'll show you how to make a SWR meter. It's all QRP, where it weighs nothing in low power. That'll light up in your hand if you have any radio signal very close to it. So you run it down your antenna to check your your uh, restrict your um, your standing wave ratio, your your, your transmitting signal, and your transmitter back signal. But I'll go over that in the next video. But I just want to show this off. I'm really, really excited about it. I'll probably put a real paddle on there. Probably, well, I got paddles like this I could use, but I don't know. They need to be cleaned up. The Vibroplex bug. This thing is a. Uh, it's way too heavy for field work, and uh, you know, it's gonna go quick. So you're trying to. Every one of those little, like this. Each little bump be a, a dot. So that'd be sending code a lot quicker than I am. I'm probably gonna buy one of the electronic keyers. Or it's did uh or you squeeze, but I'm gonna buy one of those. But is it important to know how to do it and actually know the code? Um, you don't need to really study Morse code to know it. I mean you do if you want to know it by ear, you know like this is an S. You know, or an O. Well, I'm not gonna key O up. Which would be da 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 three long ones, you know, or like the letter H. Oops, finger fell. Off. See this thing is rotating. Oh, there we go. Wait, it's not working. Ah, stupid switch. Comes to go over like that. So an H would be like like four dots, and a zero would be five dots. So you'll you'll learn by ear that those are different. Uh, like a D is a you know a long, a, or you could say, dog did it, dog did it. So I mean, you you should learn code. It, it takes a long time. It's a pain in the butt because I don't hear a you know dog did it. I hear oops screwed it up. See finger slips. I hear that as a D. You might as well say D to me. It just comes across. So it's like a replacement, like learning a new language and um, by ear. So there's no right way and wrong way to learn Morse code. There is hundreds and hundreds of different methods. Um, we're doing this method. We're doing an old, old method where they use the old phonetics like ICOM or uh, not ICOM. Uh, I can't think what it is <laughs> after saying all that. Um, I don't know. And then oval for O and NAND for N, stuff like that. So it's it's really slow. But you know, hey, learn it. You know, it's good. And these kits are fun as heck. Now I've got an amplifier I'll put together later on. I got a bunch of kits downstairs, but I'm having a little trouble getting out of the basement in and out right now with my my back and my legs are. Had a fall and ladder fall back, so. But that's it, man. Turn the switch on, turn it off, great. Alright, well, this is MCP. Hey, uh, check out stuff. I'll put a link to the speaker below. I'll put a link to the kit. The kit is about $3 on eBay, and I, don't know, I think I paid 4 on Amazon. And I had it shipped from China, so it took forever. Uh, these are called boom cubes, I think. I'll have to check. Uh, I think this is like three dollars. They're you, you clip on the speaker for your radio, which I don't know why. Why you do that? But you're like Walkman or MP3 player or whatever you're using. But these go in. They they charge the USB. They're they're a seven hour battery in them, and they're, they're really good audio. So they're really good for QRP. And they don't weigh anything. And like I said, once I take this apart and put it in this. If, well, not this one, but I'll make it like it. In a whole new kit, everything will fit with the dials, the whistles, 
I'll, I'll make a antenna tuner maybe. Um, I plan to take this and just um, cut a wire to the right length, but I'm also going to make like clips where I can clip onto things that are metal and then I'll have to tune it. So I'll have the QRP and low power lightweight stuff. So, all right, I was NCP, just trying to get this out there real quick and say, hey, these are new videos coming now. No more of the old stuff from the old channel, so it's all, it's all new. All right, have a good one, everybody, and see you out.